So I've got a question. What's it about? Is it about the data or is it about the relationship? I kind of feel like there's this game in real estate called build a big database and do not much with it. And then I meet other people like, yeah, but I got all these relationships, but they can't show me that on any of the data. And this is the most important part of what actually great agents do is they realize the purpose of what you do during the course of the campaign is you actually build great data to then actually build great relationships. And let's think about where this actually really starts. The fastest way to meet lots of people, do lots of opens on a Saturday. Not only do you meet buyers, you meet buyer sellers, you can actually meet people that are neighbors in the area. You're in a position that you meet people who want to book in for a buyer appointment, a market price or a listing appointment. But what you've got to do is you've got to know. And the only way you've got to know is you've got to ask really good quality questions. What are the questions that you ask? Isn't that a great question? Well, uh, they're literally, they're walking to the house. Hey, have you bought locally before? No, you haven't. Let me find you the area where price and value meet. Hey, have you bought locally before? Yeah, we have. Cool. What are your plans for existing when you buy the next? Probably going to sell it, might lease it out. Would you like me to pop over? Give you an idea on what it would lease for and what it would sell for so then you can make that decision for the future. And that's what great agency is all about, right? Like getting really clear about what the motivation is of people. So then you can just ask really simple questions. And literally someone walks in, you say, hey, why this one? You know, the beautiful high span garage. Okay, great. And why now? Oh, we're having a baby. Oh, congratulations. When's the baby due? And that's what you've got to realize. The size of the problem always determines the speed to market. Recently, we started to see people going, hey, there's going to be a brand new AI trend. And all of a sudden, you can go and get all of the data from all of these people. And someone went to Australia Post and did this and did this with the lottery department. And then off the back of that, we then worked out that all these people are over here. And then you can go and ring them. But literally, you don't have permission to go and ring them. How does that work under the Privacy Act? That you bought the data, but did I give you express permission to actually go and call me? And this is what you've got to realize. You might have a phone number, but if you have no relationship, what's the point of having the number? And the way that all great relationships start is about making sure that you have permission in permission-based marketing to be seriously good at what you do. Now more than ever before, what you've got to do is you've got to go work the existing data that you've already got. Why are you chasing brand new data when we should be going back to the future and ringing every single past client who's ever bought a property from you during the lifetime of your residential real estate career or ultimately what's already happened inside of your real estate office? Let's think about it. Maybe 95% of every single one of the sellers that you sit in front of is gonna be someone else's past client that you're about to steal. So now more than ever before, look after your past clients and do great work. What we've always found is the people that come to you because you're doing great work in open for inspections, social proof through auctions, doing great marketing as an agent, getting out there in the marketplace, those relationships are 10 times more powerful than randoms that you go to because you ultimately bought some data. Now more than ever before, this is the relationship economy.